You want your own piece of land? You want to live in the country? You tired of the city life? The stress of all those bills? Stick around because this may be what you're looking for. First thing you need to do is buy some land. I bought my land cheap. It's 30 acres and it's beautiful. I had somebody finance it and I had bad credit. It was easy. It was what they call in-house finance. It's kind of like when you get a car from a buy here, pay here. So here's the deal. I bought this land from a company that sells off-grid property. I wanted it off-grid because I didn't want bills and I wanted to be away from the city and I wanted my own land, a piece of land that I actually owned. I didn't have the money to build a house on this property so I moved this camper on my property and that's what I stayed in. The roads weren't very good when I got here but now they're pretty nice. I put this gate up here at the front of the property to keep the bad guys out. I made these roads up through here so I could have access to the place I wanted to build my house. I sold some stuff, saved up $8,000 and bought this shed. I started working on the inside to make it into a home. First I put in all the electric. I ran the wiring from the breaker box to all the plug receptacles and then I wired in these lights. I did insulation, ran all these water lines, put in a nice large shower. I even made my own toilet. You put the bag in the bucket and close the lid. Put in this instant hot water heater and made sure we're going to have hot water. Started putting up the sheetrock. We put in these cabinets. Built this matching little bar here in the center. I installed this wood burning stove to keep us warm in the winter time. This is my 6,000 gallon water tank that's filled up by the rain gutters. Built this pump house behind it for the pump and the filtration system. Now we have water like a normal household. I designed this do-it-yourself solar system to run the entire cabin. This is the battery shed. And that's my battery bank. It's what runs a house at night when there's no solar power. This is the inverter by EG4 that powers up the whole house. Really wasn't too hard. I did a little bit of studying online. I got on some of the solar forums when I needed to ask questions. And boom, there it was. My first solar system only cost me around $3,400. The lead acid battery bank that I have, I'm gonna keep going with that for now. Soon I'll be upgrading to the new lithium batteries which will last much longer. They're really starting to get cheap. You can still find land owner finance. It's gonna be a little more expensive than when I. I bought it and you're probably gonna need about 12% down no credit or bad credit should be just fine you want to make sure you find a place that has no covenants no homeowner associations and no restrictions provided you're wanting to live off of the grid you really want land way out into the country if you want to be self-sufficient like this you're not going to get in trouble for building your own solar power where i'm at and no laws against catching rainwater and where i'm at so far up here into the mountains there is no trash pickup i know you guys hate this but it is legal for me to burn my trash in my state it's all paid for there's no rent, no electric bill, no land payment. And if I plowed my own garden, I may disappear for good. Y'all are going to trip out when you see this. Found this dog on the side of the road earlier. What are you so happy about? If you're interested in this lifestyle or you want to know more about it, just leave a comment. I can answer most of your questions. And I left a link for some of the solar equipment. I definitely keep insurance. I pay an internet bill and a phone bill. I mean, come on, I wouldn't be able to do my YouTube videos.